couch with us right now. We have Bill and Will here to talk to us a little bit about a flower photo stroll. And this is going to be happening at the, Na the Daniel Boone Native Gardens. This sounds like an incredible event. Oh, we this is be the second annual. Uh, we did it last year. Last year it started, uh, they had up at Appalachian the horticultural, the North Carolina Horticultural Symposium. Mm -hmm. And it was just an event to go along with that. And it was uh, so much fun and so many people loved it and wanted to do it again. And other people that missed it said, well, you know, make sure I come next year. And so we're doing it again. And it's a very laid back um, photo workshop, but it's really not for seasoned photographers. It's more for the gardener who wants to capture images of their gardens or, uh, in this case, of course, the Daniel Boone Native Gardens, but just for plants and flowers. And I've come up with uh, about 10 tips, or I think of them as tricks, but, but techniques that anybody can use with a, with a camera phone. Okay. Uh, to just uh, really capture some good shots. So. Yes, and you know, a lot of people are using their phones as a camera this day and time anyways. And, so. and the quality is amazing. It is. And, uh, but there's some tricks that if, if you think about, uh, if last year I produced a little fold over card that I'll have uh, again this year that, that just reminds you. It's just something you can keep and, and look at uh, every once in a while just go, oh, that's right. You know, yeah, if I do that, it'll help and one thing or another. So. Absolutely. So yeah. how did you guys both get involved in something like this? Well, well, well I'm actually a uh, marketing intern with the Native Gardens. Um, I started with them a couple weeks ago. Uh, I found them at an internship fair on campus and thought it would be a great opportunity to get involved and give back to the community a little bit through this organization. So, Absolutely. So. And I just love the gardens. It's a hidden gem. Uh, it really is. I, I know mm -hmm. people uh, from Boone or that have lived in Boone for 25 years, like myself. <laughs> and a lot of them have heard of it, but they don't even know where it is. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy to find. It's right in the middle of town. It's where Hampton's funeral home is, right on 321 on Blowing Rock Road. You go up like you're going to the... Uh, Horn in the West, mm -hmm. and it's right in that corner across from the uh, the kids park there, the Daniel Boone Park, and it's just that little corner, and it, it actually abuts, it backs up to the back of Horn in the West, so it's right up near the farmer's market, uh, and it's, somebody asked me uh, when I was telling them about it, about they said, well, how big is it? And, I think I might have even said 12 acres. It turns out it's three and a half acres. <laughs> but you can get lost back on some of the trails back in there. It's amazing. Absolutely. And there's there's shaded little tunnels of rhododendron, everything from that to open meadow type uh, environment. So yeah, quite good. And they've, they've gone to great pains to to uh, to try to weed out some of the the non-native plants and and they've gone to great pains to plant authentically native uh, varieties and so there's plantings all through that uh, are really exquisite and we we're just ending with the uh, it's called spring ephemerals with um well like the trilliums the trilliums have uh, kind of had their day, I think, and there, you know, but there's there were some beauties um, that you could find just wandering around. There's two little ponds with with some environments. It's been another bumper crop of Jack in the Pulpit this year, and there I always like finding them, and so it's like a treasure hunt every time I go. Yes. Uh, so. Yes, and you know the. Na the Native Gardens is beautiful. A lot of people go down there and take pictures. I know we've had our family pictures done down there, and uh, it's absolutely beautiful. So if you haven't been, you definitely need to go and check this out. Now, is this a ticketed event, or how does this work? It's completely free. Uh, I'll have, uh, hopefully, uh, another assortment of, of 
accomplished photographer, professional photographer, friends of mine. Mm -hmm. I'm a novice, but, but uh, these people really know their stuff, and they'll be on hand to just help with questions, technical questions. Um, I have some horticultural friends that will hopefully be able to be there again this year that uh, know the gardens and can, can steer you towards this or that. There's little, again, you know, some secrets in there. So uh, it's, it's, there's no charge. It runs from 9 until noon on Tuesday, the day after Labor Day. Uh, and hopefully it, from the long range weather I've been able to see, it might be overcast, which is actually a very good time to be taking uh, that kind of photography. So there's no excuses. And even if it rains, I mean, it, it, we're probably going to hold it. We haven't made a rain date for it or anything else. But uh, enough people seem to be interested, and so I'm hoping to have a crowd. We had people from actually from other countries as well as out of state last year. Oh, wow. Uh, although mostly from North Carolina. Uh, so we'll, uh, you know, it's just fun. It's a good Absolutely. time. Absolutely. So how many people do you expect this year? I don't want to put a, a specific <laughs> number on it, but, I, you know, in the, in the dozens. Well, that's good. You know. Oh, that's, no, that's fine. And we had just, I think, just shy of two dozen last year, the first right. time we even tried it. So I'm hoping to have a little more this year, but Absolutely. I just love sharing. I'd love to share it with, with people, especially locals that, that maybe have been there once or twice. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, most of the folks that are steering this uh, love it like I do and w would just love to turn other people on to it. Uh, yes some of the little background areas and whatnot. Absolutely, so remind everybody when this is going on. Okay, it's on Tuesday, the 27th of May, uh, the day after Labor Day, uh, from 9 a.m. to noon, and it's at the, the stone house at the top of the gardens. There's the parking area uh, that's enough for dozens and dozens of cars, but it's, um, it's at the stone house. We'll meet there on that little plaza area and then just sort of go down and spread out and, and have a great morning. Perfect. All right. Well, this sounds awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming in to talk with us about you it. You bet. Thanks. Absolutely. And we will be back right after these messages with more of the Mountain Television Network.